when we are in the last chain free space and we've done the last single crochet we have to make chain three and then into the shell we have to make another shell so two double crochets chain two and two double crochets one and two and again chain three one two three and we have to repeat exactly the same as we've done here so we in each chain free space we have to make single crochet and then chain three and we have to repeat exactly the same so in each shell we have to work shell and when we will have double shell we have to make uh, shell in each chain two space and between two shells we have to make chain two space as well so one more time when we will have double shell we have to make two shells plus chain two between those uh, two shells then we have to make single crochet in each chain three space and then chain three after each single crochet in normal shell we have to make normal shell and again at the end of our round slip stitch into the top of chain three then we have to make slip stitch into the first chain two space so into the center of the first shell and into that shell we have to make another shell so chain three one two three then double crochet chain two one and two and two more double crochets one and two now chain of two one and two and into the next chain two space between two shells from the previous row we have to work another shell so two double crochets chain two one and two and two more double crochets one and two and again chain of two and into the center of the second shell we have to make shell again so this time we will have three shells and two chain two spaces between those shells so in each chain two space we've done one shell we've done shell into the shell shell into the chain chain two space between two shells from the previous row and shell into the shell into the second shell after that we have to make again chain of three and we have to make exactly the same as on the previous row we are going to the first chain three space and we have to make single crochet so we are always skipping chain free space between shell and the next pattern and after that chain three one two and three and single crochet into the next chain free space chain three single crochet into the next chain free space so basically exactly the same as uh, on the previous row and again after when we will finish here we have to make shell into the center of the shell from the previous row then we have to keep repeating our pattern um, and when we will have our two shells and the chain to space between two shells we have to work exactly the same so we will work three shells so i will show you a little bit more single crochet chain three 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 one more single crochet then chain three one two three and shell into the shell from the previous row so two double crochets two 
two double crochets, then chain two and two more double crochets into the chain two space. So basically in each chain two space we have to work a shell. If we have to make more than one shell, we have to make chain two between shells. Now chain three, one, two and three, and we have to repeat what we've done before. Single crochet in each chain three space, then chain three. At the end of our round we have to make slip stitch into the top of chain 3. Uh, now we will start next round. This round will be round number 18 so we can count and check that we are making everything in order. We have to make slip stitch into the chain 2 space and we will work another shell. So chain 3, double crochet then chain two, one and two, and two more double crochets. So we've got first shell. Now we have to make chain three, one, two, three. We have to skip the chain two space and we are going into the next shell and we will work another shell. Two double crochets, chain two, and two double crochets, one and two. Chain three, one, two, three, and into the center of the shell from the previous row, one, two, three. We have to make another shell. So this time we are working the shell into the center of the shell from the previous row. So we should have three shells the same as on the previous row. Between each shell we have to make chain 3 space. Then chain 3, 1, 2, 3 and we are going to the first chain 3 space. This is the first actually but we have to skip it. We are going here. Single crochet and chain 3, 1 and 2, 3 and then single crochet into the next chain 3 space chain three so everything we are working exactly the same one two three one two three one two three one two three single crochet one two three single crochet one two three single crochet then again chain three one two three and into the shell we have to work one shell so now in each shell we have to work another shell and then chain three and we have to repeat our pattern as each row now so basically we have to repeat. If we've got three shells, we have to work one shell in each shell, then single crochet in each chain one space in each chain three space, in one shell, one shell, then exactly the same. So exactly on the opposite side you should have three shells and make one shell in each shell. Between each shell we have to make chain we have to make chain free space and at the moment your work is supposed to look like that. At the end of our round we have to make slip stitch again into the top of chain free and now we will work slip stitch into the center of the first shell so into the chain two space. Uh, we need to make another shell so chain of three then double crochet chain of two and two double crochets one and two now chain of four one two three and four into the next shell we will work large shell so two double crochets one 
and two, then chain of four, one, two, three, four, and another two double crochets. One and two. Chain of four, one, two, three, four. Into the next shell, we will work shell again. One two double crochets, chain of two, and two double crochets, one and two. So at the moment we've done small shell, big shell, and another small shell, and two chain four spaces. Now chain of three, one, two, three, and we have to make single crochet into the second chain into the second chain three space so we have to skip this one into the second and again chain of three one two three single crochet in next chain three space then chain of three one two three single crochet in next chain three space and we have to repeat it to the end to the last one chain three space from here At the end, when we've done the last single crochet, we have to make chain of three and into the next shell we will work double shell. So two double crochets, one and two, then chain of two, one, two, another two double crochets, one and two. chain of two, one and two, and another two double crochets, one and two. So we've done two double crochets, chain two, two double crochets, chain two, and two double crochets. Now chain of three, one, two, three, and single crochet into the second chain three space. So we have to skip this one, we go in here, single crochet, then chain three, one, two, three, single crochet, chain three, one, two, three, and we have to repeat it in each chain three space. At the end, when we've done the last single crochet, then we have to make chain three, and into the next shell we have to make again double shell. So two double crochets, chain two, another two double crochets chain two and two more double crochets now chain three one two three and again we have to go to this second chain three space we need to make single crochet and chain three single crochet chain three single crochet in next chain three space and chain three one two three Now we are on the opposite side as we start our round. So again we've got three shelves, one next to another. So um, after the last single crochet and chain three we have to make exactly the same as we've done. Into the first one we have to make just a normal shell. So two double crochets, chain two and two double crochets, one and two, then chain of four, one, two, three, four, into the middle one we have to make large shell, so two double crochets, then chain four, one, two, three, 
four and another two double crochets one and two chain four one two three four and into the third one you have to make normal shell again the two double crochets chain two and two double crochets so we have to repeat exactly the same as what we've done from the beginning of our round so all of it we have to repeat on this side as well at the end of this round again we have to make a slip stitch into the top of chain three and now we can fasten off and cut the yarn but only for a second and now we've got here the three shells one next to another we have to go back and we need to join with our yarn into the second chain to space of the double double shell I will join by making single crochet but you don't have to you can make only chain chain one or something like that and now into this chain two space we have to make shell so chain three then double crochet so after single crochet I've done only chain two now double crochet chain two one and two and two double crochets one and two now we have to skip the chain three space we need to make chain three one two three and we are going to the second chain three space we have to make single crochet then chain three one two three and we have to repeat as we did in each row one two three single crochet one two three and then single crochet one two three single crochet one two three and into the last chain free space we have to make single crochet as well into the next shell we have to um, we have to work shell as well so I'm not quite sure I said I'm not quite sure that but we have to make chain three again one two three and into the next shell we will work shell again so two double crochets chain two and two double crochets so this is the normal shell chain three one two three and now we are into the big shell so into the shell when we've done double crochet chain four and then double crochet so in this shell we have to make 13 treble crochets one two three four five six seven eight nine 
can eleven. Twelve and thirteen. Then chain three, one, two, three, and shell into the next shell. One, two, two double crochets, then chain two and two more double crochets one and two and again chain three one two three into the second chain three space single crochet then chain three And we have to repeat it in each chain free space. Now we have to make chain of three after the last single crochet and into the first shell we have to into the first chain two space we have to make a shell one two double crochets chain two and two double crochets one and two and at the moment we will not continue this round we will work in a rows so we have to um, we have to turn around our work and then we have to make a slip stitch into the chain two and we will work shell into the chain three space so chain of three then double crochet, chain of two and two double crochets, one and two. Now we have to make chain of three, one, two and three into the second chain free space single crochet. And then chain of three, single crochet into the next chain free space, chain of three, and we have to repeat it in each chain free spaces. At the end, again, after the last single crochet, chain three into the shell we will work another shell so two double crochets one and two chain of two and another two double crochets one and two chain three one two three now we have to go to the first travel crochet and into that travel crochet from the previous round we have to make travel crochet again and then chain one into the next travel crochet travel crochet again and chain one so in each travel crochet from the previous row we have to work travel crochet and then chain one and we have to repeat it to the last travel crochet when we've done the last travel crochet we should have 13 travel crochets plus 12 chain one spaces after that we have to make chain three into the shell we will work shell again so double crochet second double crochet chain two and two double crochets chain three 
you have to skip the first chain free space we are going to the second one single crochet and chain free into the next chain free space single crochet and chain free and the same in each chain free space one two three single crochet one two three single crochet one two three single crochet one two three and now we have to go to the shell and into that shell we will work shell again so one and two chain two and two double crochets again now we have to turn our work again we need to make a slip stitch into the center of the <coughs> into the center of our shell and we have to make slip stitch after that we have to make chain three then double crochet chain two one and two and two double crochets one and two chain of three one two three now we are going we have to skip the first chain free space we are going to the second single crochet then chain three one two and three and again single crochet chain three then single crochet chain three and single crochet chain three one more time single crochet chain three two three into the shell we have to work shell again one double crochet and two double crochets chain two another two double crochets one and two chain three one two three you have to skip the chain three space and into the first chain one space we have to make single crochet then chain three one two and three so basically we have to repeat what we start working here one single crochet chain three into the next chain one space single crochet chain three so we have to repeat in each chain one space the same pattern when we've done the last single crochet we have to make chain three one two three into the shell we will work another shell one and two double crochets chain two one and two another two double crochets one and two then chain three one two three we have to skip the first chain free space we are going to the second single crochet then chain three and again single crochet chain three single crochet chain three and the same in each chain free space one two three and at the end into the the last shell we have to work shell again so two double crochets chain two one and two and two double crochets one and two and again we have to turn our work we have to make a slip stitch into the first chain to space then we need to make a shell so two double crochets chain two Two double crochets again one and two chain three one two three we have to skip the first chain free space we are going to the second single crochet one two three chain three 
single crochet, chain three, one, two, three, single crochet, chain three, one, two, three, single crochet, and again chain three at the end. Now we've got next shell, but this time we will work double shell in this shell, so two double crochets, one and two, chain of two, another two double crochets, one and two, chain two, and another two double crochets, so one and two, chain of three, one, two, three, you have to skip chain three space here, we are going to the next chain three space, we need to make single crochet, chain three, and the same in each chain three space, one single crochet, and then chain three. And again, after the last single crochet, chain three, into the next shell. We will work double crochet, double shell again, so two double crochets, one, two, then chain of two, another two double crochets, one and two, chain of two, one and two, and two double crochets, chain three, one, two, three, we have to skip the next chain three space, we are going to the second single crochet chain three, and then single crochet chain three, single crochet chain three, and the last single crochet, chain three, and shell into the last shell. Two double crochets, chain two, and two double crochets, one and two. Now we have to then again our work, we will make a slip stitch into the chain 2 space, then we have to make shell, so chain 3, 1 double crochet, chain 2, and 2 double crochets, 1 and 2, chain 3, 1, 2, 3, we have to skip the first chain 3 space, we are going to the second one, single crochet, then chain three, single crochet, chain three, single crochet, chain three, one, two, three, and shell into the next shell because we've got. Uh, as you can see we've got double shell, so we are working shell into the first chain two space, one and two, then chain of two and two double crochets again, one and two. And again we have to turn our work, slip stitch into the chain two space, we are working shell again, one, two, three, then double crochet, chain of two, and two double crochets, one and two, chain three, one, two, three, skip the first one, go into the second chain three space, single crochet, one, two, three, chain three, and single crochet into the next one, chain three, one, two, three, shell into the 
last shell again. Two double crochets, one and two, chain two and two more double crochets. Now we will work the last one round, so we have to turn our work, we need to make slip stitch into the center of the shell, chain 3, 1, 2, 3, then double crochet, now chain of 2, 1 and 2, and we are going to the center of the next shell, and into that center we have to make 2 double crochets, 1 and so we've got two double crochets, chain two space, and two double crochets into the next shell. And now we can fasten off the yarn. At the moment, your work is supposed to look like that. We've done one pineapple stitch already. So as we finish first pineapple, now we can go on to the right side and we have to finish the next one. For this we have to join into the second, uh, second two chain space in our double shell. So for make it I will join as usual, so I will make single crochet for joining. Chain one and then single crochet. Now we have to make chain of two because we've done single crochet. If you are not joining by making single crochet, make chain three, then double crochet, chain of two, and two double crochets. So we are working shell into the shell. Now we have to make chain of three. One, two, three. We need to skip the, chain, the first chain three space. We are going to the second one. Single crochet and then chain three. One, two, and three. We are going to the next chain three space. Single crochet and chain three. So basically, we have to make exactly the same as on the first pineapple. Chain three. After the last single crochet, we have to make chain of three, one, two, and three, and we need to make shell into the first chain two space in the second double shell. Then chain two, one and two, and two more double crochets. Now we have to turn our work, we have to make a slip stitch into the center of the shell and we need to make shell again. Chain two and two double crochets, one and two. Chain of three. We have to skip the first chain free space, we are going to the second one and we have to make single crochet, then chain free in each chain free space. One, two, three, single crochet, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, three. After the last single crochet, chain three space in, into the chain two, so into the center of our shell, we have to make 
shell again. So two double crochets, chain two and two double crochets. One and two. 